Welcome back to the Docs Quippy channel everybody, hope you are doing well. So, what's been going on? We've bought you loads of videos recently regarding the Fire Stick, installing apps again, new apps, new pretty much everything. And what that's caused is a load of new followers again on this channel. And we released a video not too long ago on streaming news regarding, you know, stopping Amazon tracking what you're doing, stopping Amazon using up your resources, turning off some settings, which are just downright annoying. Okay, these settings can be just more of a pain in the ass than anything. So, what we're going to do today is bring you that video where it will turn off a load of settings. Some will help you, some will speed up your device, some will make it run smoother, some will stop them tracking you, and some will not annoy you. And we're going to get right into it. Before we do that, all I ask, can you subscribe to the channel? Hit that thumbs up if you're new, hit that share if you're an old school watcher, and if you've seen some of these before, let us know. And if you know of any new ones you've seen, let us know in the comments. And we're going to show you what's going on today. So... Here we are on my Fire Stick. I am on a Fire Stick Lite. And first of all, we're going to turn off one setting, which is the bane of my life. Um, this is nothing to do with tracking. This is nothing to do with monitoring. That will come in a minute. But this one, these preloaded video adverts, which just ping straight on in front of you and scare the living life out of you. They drive me mad. Thankfully, I've turned the sound off on the recording for you guys. Nothing worse than when you're trying to navigate around, you accidentally click up and this thing jumps out on you playing a video slowing down your device slowing down your system so how are we going to do this we get across to our settings we go to preferences and the good thing is once we're in preferences we've got four or five different settings we can do for you and you're going to love them so preferences featured content this is the allow video autoplay for that advert no one likes adverts i hate adverts turn these off guys allow audio autoplay turn that off advert so it only affects the playback of that advert. Get it turned straight off, straight away. Brilliant. Good news, now we're in preferences. This is where we can turn off some settings which will keep your device a lot better, not being monitored by Amazon. We've all been installing lots of apps recently with the new file linked, file synced, app linked, unlinked. Remind me if I've forgot any. And we're all in installing apps, whether it's for watching movies, TV shows. And the last thing is we want Amazon knowing what we are doing. So what we're gonna do is first of all, Privacy settings. In here, we want to turn off our device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing, product improvement and purposes. No thank you. Sod off Amazon, I don't want you to use any of my data. Collect app usage data. Allow the app store to collect information on the frequency and duration, duration, duration of use of downloaded apps. So, no. They don't need to know how long I am using apps that I've downloaded, whether they're from the App Store, whether they're from third party, anything like that is none of your business off. Interest-based ads. This is a personal preference. I turn it off. I don't want them using my data to then advertise to me. If you turn it off, they've got no reason to use that data. They may say it's for ads. Don't trust it. Got my tinfoil hat on. Don't care. Job done. Bye-bye, Amazon. I'm not going to swear. So... That's done. Data monitoring is the next one, guys. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Off. End of the day, guys, if you're using a lot of 4K streams off of Amazon, anything like that, you're going to be using a lot of data. They want to monitor and know why. Don't care. Whether you're not going to do anything dodgy with it, Amazon, none of your business. We want no links from us to you. We don't want any of that. We want it all turned off. Okay. Feature content we've done. Notification settings. It's just a little tip, this one, guys. Do not interrupt to on... So nothing interrupts you. You can also do individual app notifications. So you can turn these all off if you want to. Okay. Not a problem at all. You can just turn them off one by one. Um, but I've got them all do not interrupt on. So nothing should interrupt you. Whew. That was a load straight away, wasn't it? That may have been a brainstorm. If you missed any of that, I do go too far sometimes. Go back, just rewatch. And it'll all explain for you why we're doing that. That is mainly to stop them tracking and knowing what you are doing on your device. Later in the week, we are going to cover some settings regarding them recording you, turning that off, and also deleting any voice recordings they have of you. So do subscribe for that. Next up, very important one, probably one of the most important on your device for security. In My Fire TV, developer options, ADB debugging. We turn this on a lot to install apps while we're on our device. Okay, We need it turned off when you're not using it. There's one, one exception to this is... Um, mouse toggle, mouse toggle, okay? Mouse toggle needs it to work, but this will allow anyone on your network to install applications from untrusted sources, okay? So I'm not saying someone in your house is going to do it, but it will allow an app 
on your device to make that connection, maybe even to install another app if it's enabled. That could then maybe install malware, viruses, anything like that if they just want to get your information, get your data, use your services, anything like that, guys. So we turn it off. Again, install from unknown apps. Turn this off on anything which shouldn't install an app. So Aptoid is an app store, fine. Mouse toggle off, file synced on, fine. File link technically should be on, but it doesn't work anymore. Download it on, app linked on, everything else off. So suddenly, I don't know if um, SD made was on, you'd wonder why. What does SD made need to install? Some may come preset as on, we need to turn them off guys, okay? Whew. We're getting through a lot already, aren't we? Right, one more, which is just a personal preference because mainly it's friggin' annoying. Display and audio, audio, navigation sounds. That click every time you push this remote drives me insane. Don't know about you guys, it drives me insane. So I turned that one off. You may not have known where that setting was, but now your fire stick will not click every time you push it and it won't be blimmin' annoying. Beautiful. Right, we've got through most of the settings, guys. A couple of others we can do. Applications. Okay, so App Store. I personally, me personally, turn off automatic updates. I don't want to be watching a film, and then suddenly some apps start updating in the background, which will then slow down my film, okay? If you have it turned off, next time you open the app, it will ask you it needs an update. Job done. Perfect. In-app purchases, I have off. Stop anybody in your house um, accidentally buying something. Notifications off again. Perfect. Game circle. In here, I turn game circle um, whisper sync off. It's syncing between games and a cloud service if you want to say your functions. I don't game on my Fire Stick. Doesn't need to happen. If you want it on, you have it on, obviously. And Amazon Photos. I disable everything in here because I don't use anything on Amazon Photos in here. I don't need guest connections. I don't need access to Amazon Photos on a Fire Stick. Off. Brilliant. And that's the main ones, guys, okay? They're really important ones for you guys to keep you safe. Again, some of you may have seen this. We've had a lot of new followers over the last few weeks. I wanted to make sure you're all using your Fire Stick safely and to the fullest potential. As always, folks, thanks for watching. If you do have time, come and check out the rest of the channel. The Doc Squiffy channel has every video for you, from apps to streaming to movies to TV shows to app link, file link, unlinked, uh, live TV, VPNs, tech, football, all on one channel. So come and check it out. Hit subscribe. Maybe hit that join button as well. And underneath, I will link every single one of my social medias, from TikTok to Facebook to other YouTube channels I have. Come and check out the rest of them, guys. Show some support, and we will keep you up to date with anything streaming related and help you out where we can, whether it's security-wise or whether it's getting you stuff for free. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy on the Doc Squiffy channel, and I'll see you soon.